this 12 amp side is all I'm going to need for this room. I've calculated that this space be right around 225 square feet and that's super simple to do. So I'm just going to put my heel against the wall and I'm going to count how many normal paces it is across. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's three times five. The human footstep is about three feet, give or take, not enough to matter. Okay, so I'm, I, I have 15 feet there and I've got one, two, three, four, almost five paces there. So I just rounded up to 15 times 15 and that's 225 square feet. I also have some space in here. So I calculated that to be about 100 square feet. So you're looking at about 325. So the Elite 4 side or the 12 amp side of the High Pro machine is all I'm going to need to heat this space because again that'll do about 400 square feet. When I'm initially setting these heaters up, I'm going to assume that this outlet and this outlet are on separate breakers. The reason for that is when electricians run breaker or run outlets together on the same breaker, they need the wall to run the wire through, right? So they would run it to down to this outlet, then they'll run it out a corner and put it in another outlet, okay? But if this, there's no wall here. So it's gonna be very difficult for that power outlet to be on the same um, circuit is this power outlet here. So that's one way to get started. The other way is I'm going to plug one into the room. Typically a master bedroom is going to have its own circuit breaker. And a lot of times even the GFI in the bathroom is on a separate circuit in a master bedroom. So we're going to give that a try. Anytime you're plugging in to an outlet that's very high, you don't want a lot of weight because it's going to be very hot in here and everything's going to kind of get pliable and and uh, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around and just to take the weight off of, off of that plug so it doesn't pull itself out during my treatment. I have the fans plugged in. I have a fan plugged in uh, to this outlet here. They're very low amp. They only draw 1.8 amps each. So you can put six of them on a 15 amp breaker. So typically we're not going to worry too much about the fans, especially because there was a lot of 20 amp breakers. Uh, most of these breakers I know I'm dealing with are 20 amp. And I know that because we went out to the breaker panel and, and saw that the majority of them were 20s unless they were lighting. I have the other fan plugged in over there. And I have the main heater fan plugged in here as well with that heating element on that outlet. You want to make sure your plugs are plugged in very well. This is kind of an awkward angle to plug in, so there's not a lot of strength there. So what I do is I take the heater, I tilt it, and I kind of just make sure it's pushed in really well. And I'm going to do that on all of these out uh, inlets. Now I'm going to plug this one in. Again, make sure that if they're plugged in very well. And this is a 50 foot cord, and this is the cord that I'm going to run to the laundry room that I was talking about earlier. So I have one of, the, one of the elements plugged in here out in the dining room area. The other element I have plugged into the laundry room area. So as I was saying earlier, this plug here is on this wall, but it's not attached to this wall. There's no way to get wires from this wall to that wall. So it's going to be highly unlikely that that's going to be on the same breaker as this because we have this big opening here and we have a big opening there that they can't run them through. So fortunate, I believe, in this, in this treatment that I'm gonna have two, two breakers in this room, one being here and one being here. All of the cords are lit and they have lights in them when there's power running to them. If by chance I plug into two of these into the same breaker, I'll know right away which two they are because two of these lights will be dark. Then I can take one of those cords and move it and leave the other one where it was and try to get it to a different breaker. That's a real easy way to tell if you pop a breaker which two cords are in the same circuit. 